Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today this video is about Minkowski inequality. So we will see the statement of the Minkowski inequality first. We have two elements from the real space Rn in a way that x have n components and y have n components as well. Like this. So, and we have a real element, let's call them P from R. And we know that P is greater than 1. We know that means, and there is a given description about P is that P is greater than 1. So, if we have two elements from Rn, we have P from R that is greater than 1. So, the Minkowski inequality states that the sum of xk plus yk, that is, the sum of the components of every component of x and y where k is from 1 to n. So the sum of the sum of xk plus yk to the power p whole to the power 1 by p is less than or equal to the sum of xk to the power p and to the power 1 by p and sum of yk to the power p whole to the power 1 by p. So this is the statement of Minkowski inequality and now it's time for proving this Minkowski inequality and we will use Holder's inequality in this in order to prove it more easily. So let's start the proof. Now if we have to suppose that x and y are two elements that are taken from Rn that are purely non-zero elements, we can work on this but if we think about that x and y are taken from Rn and they are only zero element of Rn that every element of this x is 0, x1 is 0, x2 is 0, and so on to xn. And the same case with y, that y is 0, that every element of y, y1, y2 is 0. If it is, then it is trivially true. The, there is no need to prove this inequality. We will prove this for the case when we assumed that the two elements x and y that are taken from Rn are non-zero elements. And we know that because the k used in the subscript goes from 1 to n because we have n components of this. Now we can write mod of xk plus yk to the power p equal to the product of xk plus yk and the product of xk plus yk to the power p minus 1 because by the simple algebraic manipulation we know that this whole term is fulfilling the need of equality. So by using the triangular inequality, we can write this that mod of xk plus mod of yk that this whole term, upper term is lower than is lower than this whole term because we have used the triangular inequality on this xk plus yk mod. So this is the term that we get by using the triangular inequality. So if we multiply xk with this xk plus yk to the power p minus 1 in same case with yk, so we will get so this whole term, upper term, in which we have used the the triangular inequality. So this term is equal to this term. We have just multiplied xk plus yk to both of the xk mod and yk mod. Now, what is going here? We will use uh, the Holder's inequality at this spot because we know the statement of the Holder's inequality that is the sum of xk and yk is less than or equal to this whole thing. So here we can apply Holder's inequality by by okay we can have to we have to talk about the summation of these terms so if we talk about the summation of this side xk plus yk to the power p that is less than or equal to some sum of this side so on this every element on the right hand side we can apply the holders inequality so we will talk about the summation sign so now we can apply holders inequality now we have by applying Holder's inequality, this whole term is also less than or equal to the product of xk p we hold to the power p and the sum of xk plus yk to the power here p minus 1 and q from the Holder's inequality hold to the power 1 by q and there is a plus sign in between so plus sum of yk to the power p 1 by p times sum of xk plus yk to the power here p minus 1 again so p minus 1 into q whole to the power 1 by q. So we have used Holder's inequality here. 
now it's time for manipulation if we take this term sum of x a plus y k q into p minus 1 whole to the power 1 by q out and we have so we have sum of x a plus y k to the power q into p minus 1 and this whole to the power 1 by q and we have two terms inside the sum of x k summation of x k to the power p whole to the power 1 by p and summation of y k to the power q to the power 1 by q now if we know the relation between p and q that we know that p and q are the conjugate indices that we discussed in the previous video of Holder's inequality so because p and q are the real numbers and p is greater than 1 that was given in the description of the whole Minkowski inequality and also in the Holder's inequality so we know the relation between p and q that 1 by p and 1 by q is equal to 1 now in order to find the value of q into p minus 1 this side and we know that if we're going to take the 1 by p on this side so it will be 1 by q is equal to 1 minus 1 by p and taking the LCM we have p minus 1 and we have 1 by q is equal to p minus 1 if we're going to cross multiply it that q for with p minus 1 so q into p minus 1 and is equal to p so here we we get the value of q into p minus 1 that is p and what about the value of 1 by q 1 by q is written as okay there is no need to replace 1 by q now so we replace only q p minus 1 with the value of p okay now if we are going to multiply this whole inequality by this term summation of x k plus y k to the power p and whole to the power minus 1 by q because in the statement of the Minkowski inequality we don't have this this expression so in order to in order to eliminate this expression we have to multiply it with this expression and because we multiply this expression to this side so we have to multiply this expression to the other side of the as there was only p here and not any power above power on the whole sum so there is one power of course so if we're going to multiply it with the minus 1 by q so it will be 1 minus 1 by q by the algebraic manipulation so we have this on the left side and this is less than or equal to when we're going to multiply the this the term that was shown a few seconds ago then this will be eliminated do you do 1 by q minus 1 by q we get 0 and anything to the power 0 is 1 so we'll so this term will be eliminated and we have only this side so this is sum of x k to the power p whole to the power 1 by p plus sum of y k to the power q whole to the power 1 by q not p no there was q there was p 1 by p right there was a little disturbance in writing p and q so with y here above by when we multiplied or applying the triangle inequality so we have y k to the power p whole to the power 1 by p now there is 1 minus 1 by q this side is what that was in the Minkowski inequality but in we have to manipulate this we know that 1 by p plus 1 by q is equal to 1 and 1 by p is equal to 1 minus 1 by q so 1 minus 1 by q is equal to 1 by p and if we're going to this write 1 by p here instead of 1 minus 1 by q so we have this side the sum of xk plus yk where k vary from 1 to n to the power p whole to the power 1 by p is less than or equal to sum of xk to the power p and whole to the power on the summation sign 1 by p plus sum of yk to the power p and whole to the power 1 by p and this is what the Minkowski inequality is so we have proved the Minkowski inequality by using the triangular inequality and by using the holders inequality by using the properties of conjugate indices okay so this is for now looking for most of the videos and you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye